right, well I just went for a walk on the beach, although it's not a very big beach, but there you can see it. So that's the hotel's private beach. And then they have a private club level for diamond members or whatever Radisson has, which I'm not. But nobody's there, so it can't be that great. Um, you got a tele facility, a bar, and a restaurant down by the beach. The hotel is like three big towers. So I'm walking up now. I'm about halfway up. My stay has been good overall. I have enjoyed this hotel. Would I stay here again? Yes, I absolutely would. It is a little out of the way, but I didn't come here to be in the way. I came here for a beachy couple of days and just to relax and unwind between some situations that have came up a couple weeks before I left and the suicide of my friend, my friend Tim. I just really needed to get away and process everything, which is super healthy. I am very cognizant to not let myself fall into that trap that I did a few years ago where I was in some situational moderate depression is what they called it. And it sucked. And I never want to go through that again. So just making sure to always take care of myself, do what I need to do for myself, watch my exercise, watch my eating. And it's kind of what I've done here too. Just kind of had a healthy little couple of days, except for dinner last night. That was the bomb. I ate at the hotel, but the restaurant wasn't owned by the hotel. It was called Essence of India. Hold on, I gotta get my key card out. And it was really good. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Are you opening the door for me? Thank you so much. Careful, don't fall, honey. Thank you. Thanks. You are, you're saying that's me. <laughs> it's like saying 15 times when she has to go up. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Then down here. I mean, this view, people. Malt is just beautiful. Here's the pool area. It's actually quite large. It goes all the way back. They got a little kiddie pool. And then further back there is the adult pool. Tons of loungers, cabanas, bars, everything you could need for a hot weather vacation because it gets scalding hot here. The hotel has different tower and every tower has different amenities in it. There's a gym, there's an indoor pool, three outdoor pools, water sports, fitness classes. I did do a yoga class while I was here, it was fine. Certainly not lifetime, but what is, right? So that's the pool area. Okay, now we're in the spa area. We'll see what we see here. Here's some changing rooms. And some toilets. And I would assume that this will bring us to the oh, inside pool, but let's see if I'm right, yes. So here is the indoor pool. It's quite lovely. Of course, it's been hot here every day, so I have not used it. There's a jacuzzi, but it's very well appointed. There's steam room, there's showers, nice lounge chairs. So it's very nice. Let's go down this other corridor. I'm kind of experiencing this part of the hotel with you because I've been pretty hooked on just the beach the whole time I've been here. To come to the indoor pool holds no appeal to me when it's 85 degrees outside. 
But I tell you what, here it gets a little chilly in the winter here, so this would be a nice option to just chill. Well, this brings you out to the adult pool right here. Oh, but you can't get out here. Okay. Look at this cool sauna, and it's turned on right now, and it looks out over into the pool and the ocean. How cool is that? What a nice touch. I love a nice touch, you guys know that? Let's see if we can get out this door. Nope. All right, I'm going to stop this, and I'll find the fitness center. Okay, I found the fitness center. Yeah, not much, as usual. Couple bikes, an elliptical, treadmills, a roller, Cybex machine. Cute though, they did a nice job. I mean, it's pretty much what you need when you're traveling if you just like wanna hop on a machine and get a little workout in. Okay, now we're in the main reception area. Of course, as with any other big hotel, you have to have all your stores, your jewelry stores, of course, an upscale clothing store that never seems to be open, but they have some cute things. This is the guest reception area. Um, I have found the concierge and the staff here to be lovely. Um, they were great about my missing luggage. Again, views everywhere. Malta's beautiful. And then the only downside about this hotel is there are a lot of families staying here, as you would expect with any big resort. But they're fine. They haven't really bothered me much. But there are a lot of kids here. Got lattes and mochis bar, and then they also have live music in here at night. It's quite lovely. I had an amazing latte in here. Um, take a look at these scrumptious desserts that they have. And it's just a real nice place to chill out and they have an outdoor area as well. So this is the tower that I got lucky enough to stay in. And it's nice because all the restaurants and everything are right here. So let's go up to my room now. So there's a few things that I didn't show you guys. Um, one of them is flavors. Um, breakfast was included. It's that typical big hotel, all-inclusive brunchy breakfast with champagne. And I just don't eat a lot in the morning. So like today I had a piece of toast with some honey. Occasionally I'll have some eggs. But eating in the morning is just not my forte. So. I always save myself for dinner. Nice hallways, I like it because it's like a little bit of an older look to it, but it's definitely very well maintained and very clean. Hello, Hello. how are you? Here, I'll sneak past you right here. Thank you. And then I'm in room tower 3744. And like I said, my luggage just arrived yesterday, so don't mind me. Very standard room. Nice big screen TV. Nice little so chair to sit on. The bed is oh so comfortable. I have slept really well here every night. And then got a nice shower tub combo. Toilet area. Nice big vanity with a great blow dryer. Fluffy robes. Slippers. All those kind of amenities. The bath amenities were great. Um, I find when I stay at nicer hotels, I just use their bath amenities and bring my own conditioner because shampoo doesn't matter as much as a conditioner. Got a nice big patio. And you can see the town of Meliha right there. A little concert theater where they had jazz last night. And then there's a little cute campground there for people who want to camp by the beach. And then a little bit of an ocean view. I call it a partial ocean view. 
I mean, there's the ocean and I can partially see it. So that about sums it up. So my closing thoughts about the Radis and Blue Golden Sands is that it's a great place to stay. Um, I did stay here as a solo traveler this time and I thought it was great. I have stayed in some really nice hotels as a solo traveler and was treated like a second class citizen. That was certainly true at the Banyan Tree Bangkok. Certainly not true here. I went to dinner last night at the fancy Indian restaurant and I had like two waiters fussing over me and bringing me things and engaging me in conversation and they were just lovely. Um, everybody here has been just super helpful, super lovely staff, clean hotel, great service. Really, there's really nothing wrong with staying here. And I, like I said, I absolutely would stay here again if I was looking for the beach type vacation. But, 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 it is very remote and it takes a long time to get everywhere. Even the other night when I went to Amdina for my tour, just to get up. But I suppose that's true for anywhere you go here, traffic is bad, but it took like 35 minutes to get to Amdina. It took like 45 minutes to get to Salima to catch my boat yesterday. So, I mean, it is, it is remote. I mean, if you're wanting to be in the center of the action, you are much better off staying in Valletta, Salima, St. Paul's Bay area. Although then you're not gonna get the beaches like you get here. Or if you don't mind a little hassle with moving your stuff around, do what I'm doing and spend three days here. And then I'm going to Valletta and spending three days there. Valletta is close to the airport. That makes my early morning flight to London perfect. I can catch my flight to London and I'll be in London about an hour and a half after my friend Leah arrives on Wednesday. So I think for me, that was the way that worked. I really enjoyed this hotel, but I don't think I would have wanted to spend my whole week here. It would have been too long. Um, so three days was perfect and I leave this afternoon and I will do another vlog on the hotel I'm staying at in Valletta, which is, sounds incredible. It's called the 1926 La Perdicio and it is a refurbished palazzo and my room looks incredible. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but like I said, this is my celebration trip of myself. So I'm worth it anyway. I will definitely do another vlog on my Valletta Hotel, but I did enjoy my stay at the Radisson Golden Sands Meliha. Have a good one, everybody.